how can robots and additive manufacturing work together to produce a part? There are at least three different examples in this demo behind me. I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media here at Formnext 2024. I'm standing in the Siemens booth in front of this demonstration that they put together in collaboration with VLM Robotics. Inside of this cell, there are three different robots. One of them is mounted on an AGV. There is a uh, rotary table, and all of these systems are working together controlled by this one Siemens Cinumeric CNC controller. What this demonstration is simulating is the production process for a Niobium aerospace nozzle. So the turntable in the center is showing a metal part. Um, the robot on the AGV is sort of simulating the WAM process, wire arc additive manufacturing, to build up that form, which is really a mandrel for the final part. Um, simulating printing with aluminum. Uh, the part would then be machined with the larger, more rigid Kuga robot off to the side. Uh, and then finally, the completed form would be sprayed with niobium to build up the shell of the nozzle, which would then be removed with an electrochemical process. Uh, also inside of this cell, at the same time that the robot is printing the part um, and also machining, uh, the AGV mounted robot is also equipped with probes. So it would be able to uh, use a touch probe to measure the part as it's being built, as well as an ultrasonic probe developed by VLM Robotics uh, to check the quality in that way as well. To produce the nozzle this way, it would take about two days of printing, two days of machining, and about seven and a half hours for the spray process for the niobium, uh, which is not necessarily a short production process, but all of the production is taking place in this one cell. And key to the process, that part, uh, the mandrel and the part that's built on top of it never has to be moved from its location point. So there's no additional setup, there's no moving of the part, and there's none of the additional time and cost that that would entail. And because of the metrology that's built into the system, the part and the, and the tool can be qualified as they are being built. So inside the cell, we have a robot serving as the 3D printer, as the metrology tool, as the machine tool, and also as the spray applicator for this process. If you want to see more applications for robots and 3D printing, how they work together, see the links in the video description. And for more from Formnext, follow additivemanufacturing.media.